Hi, my name is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we're going to talk about conjugates. Two binomial expressions of the form a plus b and a minus b are called conjugates. To form the conjugate of a binomial, we simply replace the second term by its opposite. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of that first. The conjugate of 7 minus the square root of 2 is 7 plus the square root of 2. Change the sign of the second term. The conjugate of 6 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 7 is 6 square root of 3 minus 5 square root of 7. Okay. We simply negate the second term change the sign of the second term. Let's focus on how to multiply conjugates. Uh, these two expressions are conjugates. Uh, notice the same two terms, but the second term has the opposite sign. We can multiply this by distributing or using uh, what many people refer to as the FOIL method. Uh, first times first, 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times negative 4 square root of 3 is minus 24 square root of 3. 4 square root of 3 times 6 is positive 24 square root of 3. And then finally, 4 square root of 3 times negative 4 square root of 3. Uh, multiply the numbers on the outside first. That's going to be negative 16. And then we're going to use the fact that the square root of n times the square root of n is equal to n whenever n is non-negative. So the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 ends up being simply 3. Now to simplify what we have here, I want you to notice that the two middle terms, the o and the i from FOIL, are opposites. And that's always going to happen when we multiply conjugates. Uh, those two terms will sum to be 0. So we're left with 36, which came from multiplying the first term by the first term, minus 16 times 3 is 48. And that came from the last term times the last term. So 36 minus 48 is negative 12. And what we'll see here is that when we multiply conjugates, we really only have to worry about multiplying the first two terms and then the last two terms. Another thing I want you to notice is that when you multiply two conjugates involving square roots, the resulting answer contains no square roots. Okay. In general, if we multiply two conjugates, a plus b and a minus b, in whichever order, the product is simply equal to a squared, a times a, minus b squared, b times b. Okay, let's try to take advantage of this. Multiplying two conjugates, 5 square root of 2 minus 8 square root of 3 times 5 square root of 2 plus 8 square root of 3. Uh, by what we just saw, we can multiply the first term by the first term. 5 times 5 is 25. And the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. Minus we can multiply the last two terms. 8 times 8 is 64, and the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3. Uh, simplifying, this becomes 50 minus 192, and when we subtract, the result is negative 142. Uh, one last example. First times first. 2 square root of 7 times 2 square root of 7. 2 times 2 is 4. Square root 7 times square root 7 is 7. Minus, last times last, square root of 6 times square root of 6 is 6. We're left with 28 minus 6, which is 22. Okay. Again, notice that our result did not contain a square root. If you have any questions or comments about uh, this topic, conjugates, or if you have a request for a video that I can put together for you on YouTube, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, and that address is georgewoodbury.com. Thanks and good luck.